Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. Happy to learn together. In this video, I am going to give a small introduction about ALE and AI. Probably IDOC as well. So IDOC, anyway, we have seen already. IDOC is a uh, medium to just exchange the business data between two different systems or the same SAP systems. Now we are going to see the properties of ALE and properties of EDI. Then we will have some clarity. So when to use ALE and when is required EDI. Okay. So that is the idea of this particular uh, video. Uh, maybe it's a short video about these two one. Let's get into the slides. So this is the uh, overview of just a simple uh, systems how it connected to the business okay so we have sap systems in a line it, it may be have a different business data it holds different business data and there is a communication between sap and the external system that could be sap or that could be a non sap system also mostly this communication is happening especially for the customer and vendor uh, informations or vendor exchange okay so if you see there are two different uh, communications are happening here so considering these three systems are coming under same network okay meaning this is this the same business is owning three different system to maintain their business data and there is an external system so there is another layer to communicate between those external system as well Okay, so um, in simple words, this is coming under the sim same network and this is coming under a different network. Okay, so the methodology which we are going to use over here is ALE and EDI. So here mostly if you take a statics, uh, when the ALE has been used and when the EDI used, if it is a single network or it is the same network, we want to communicate between two different systems that could be SAP or non-SAP. So we prefer ALE concept if it is an IDOC, that is another thing. Okay, if the data to be exchanged through an IDOC, we prefer to go with an ALE options. And if there is a communication between uh, external system and our uh, business system, then we prefer EDI. Okay, but this also can be possible. Like I can have an EDI between my internal system, yes. Can I have an ALE between to my external system? Yes. Okay. But uh, there are some additional layer or additional um, security, I can say, if you go with the EDA concept. So they prefer to go to EDA whenever you feel this is not our network. We don't know what network it is. So what kind of security is there or not? Okay. So in that is a case, mostly we prefer EDA for uh, different networks. Okay. But there is still an option you can use an ALE. So this is the idea. So now we are going to see about properties of ALE and properties of EDI, how that works. Then you can decide which combination or which technology needs to transfer your business data through an IDOC with the help of either ALE technology or EDI technology. Okay. So about ALE, it's it's simple, mostly you aware of it. Application linking and enabling, it is just a technology. And with the help of ALE framework, the business data are interchanged mostly within the in-house systems. So that is the idea here. So all my systems are in the same network. So I don't worry about it. That's the reason mostly I go with ALE framework. So you know the concept of ALV, ALE. So ALE mostly uh, they go with the different logical systems. They create a logical system between two different uh, SAP uh, systems and they use the logical system as a base to transfer the business data through an IDOC. And this physically separated systems are communicated using different logical systems. So that's what I mentioned a different way. So there are two different systems within the same network. And for that, we're going to use two different logical systems. So sales and transaction code. And you know how to create uh, two logical systems and then clients. And after that, so the, um, what do you call, the proper step 
to configure the IDOC, like ROC you need, and then you have to create a port and then partner profile, distributed channel. So everything is already there. But here we are going to understand about the ALE concept. Okay, what is ALE, how it works, and in future, okay, depends on my business, I can have an idea to choose whether ALE or an EDI. Then, EDI, so it's an electronic data interchange, be little more things compared to ALE. So it's act as a layer between the IDOC and the receiving system. Okay, and it has its own EDI format. If you if you just look into that, there are uh, many different EDI formats. So mostly it's using X12 or AFAT. These are the two different uh, EDI formats mostly we used. And uh, if you the same like IDOC type, you can have a EDI uh, types also. So for an invoice, you have a different EDI types. So it's kind of again standard one. So if you want, you can make use of that. If you noticed, uh, maybe if you worked, mostly EDA, um, it won't prefer the logical systems. Uh, it prefers uh, the business partner. So more, if you work on uh, automatic payment generation in FI module, so F0100 transaction, so we have to configure uh, that particular business partners, uh, the bank information and everything. Based on that, it will trigger an IDOC. Okay, maybe you can you, you can see the partner profile is not logical system, partner profile could be a business partner. Okay, so mostly they won't prefer logical systems. If you just you going to connect with EDI, we just go with the different options for that. And if you see uh, how it works generally, EDI flow is so this is a source system uh, A and this is a source system B. Uh, from A, if you're going to just generate an IDOC, it just have a so EDI interface and it converts it, it, the information what we are sending is converts into a uh, tra it converts into an EDI format with the EDI translator. Then it's create an EDI document. Then this document is communicated through an internet to the next system system b okay this is not idog is directly reaching your partner it's it's reaching your business data is reaching through an eda document so once it is reached then that, that needs to be translated to a readable format right so that again the eda translator is there again interface and it comes from idoc from there you, you can know how you have to convert your idocs data into a uh, your documents or whatever it is, how you're going to save in the database table that we know about the process. So that process comes in this space. But this will take, uh, it's, it's act as a layer between the IDOC which you generate and it reaches to your target system. Okay, So this is the way the EDA format, so this is very high level or very basic about understanding about the ALE and AD, EDI. So which one we have to prefer to use in our uh, regular development okay so hope this might be given little idea about alien edi so probably if if time permits maybe we can just see how the ed format look like how we can read it so everything we may have seen in the following videos okay and um, just go through this if you have any doubt please let me know and thank you so much for your time i hope yeah that's it and see you in the next video bye